Hey, my name is Zeus Tapato, a writer for Healing Maps. And let's talk about something known as 2CB. 2CB? What? I know you've heard of LSD and MDMA, and 2CB or 2,5-dimethoxy-4-bromophenethylamine is essentially a combination of both. Or is it? Like MDMA, 2CB is a phenethylamine. Some people call these substances not psychedelics, but hallucinogens, even empathogens, which is a substance that increases a person's empathy towards others and their environment. 2CB is derived from mescaline, and mescaline is derived from certain cacti like San Pedro and peyote. 2CB was first synthesized by Alexander Shulgin in 1974. And if you've never heard of Alexander Shulgin, you should probably pick up both of these books, like right after this video. 2CB seems to produce subjective trippy effects like LSD and MDMA. It also comes on a tab, just like LSD. But that's really all we know about 2CB. For decades, our scientific understanding of this psychedelic hasn't really shifted until just a few days ago. Mashic University's Pablo Malaroni published a placebo-controlled study that looked at the effects of 2CB compared to psilocybin. A psychedelic science first. And what did he find? Well, some interesting things, obviously. Participants in the 2CB study assessed their psychedelic experience with a variety of measurements, including the 5DASC, or 5-dimensional altered states of consciousness, hallucinogen rating scale, or HRS, visual analog scales, or VAS, and many more. To assess if 2CB had any behavioral effects, Pablo implemented cognitive tasks to test motor ability, spatial memory, general cognition, and emotional empathy. But that wasn't all. Remember, this was a comprehensive study of 2CB. So cardiovascular measurements were also taken, which examined things like blood pressure and heart rate. The study found that the overall duration of psychedelic effects from 2CB were shorter than that of psilocybin. In total, a 2CB trip is over in about six hours from the moment of ingestion. Now, if you want a mystical experience or some good old fashioned ego dissolution, 2CB won't necessarily get you there. At least, it's not as effective as psilocybin. Both psychedelics produce the same slowing of fine motor controls and spatial memory impairments, which is a consistent theme with all psychedelics. Also, let's go back to that term empathogen that everyone loves to use when talking about 2CB. One of the most tremendous things about this study was neither 2CB or psilocybin produced any empathogenic effects on the multifaceted empathy test, or MET. Overall, the experience of 2CB was lesser than that of psilocybin, which supports the idea that 2CB should be classified as a subjectively lighter psychedelic. So there you have it. 2CB is not quite the blend of LSD and MDMA that everyone says it is. However, it does have similar properties to most classical psychedelics, at least a somewhat similar profile to psilocybin. Overall, great work by Maastricht University's Pablo Malaroni at shedding some scientific light to 2CB.